Today, share with you a simple and delicious hot and sour powder. After serving, it is hot and sour delicious and, and appetizing. And most importantly, it's very simple. Follow my video next. Let's see how it is done together. First, prepare a handful of sweet potato Make warm hot chili. and sour Be sure powder. to choose this smaller sweet potato warm chili. We made this ourselves in our hometown. First, pour a little more boiling water into it. Soak it. Let's take this time to prepare some cilantro. Cut the cilantro into small pieces. After cutting, put it in a bowl for later use. Next, prepare a little more garlic. Cut it into garlic slices first. Then chop the garlic into minced garlic. Chop it all up and put it in a large bowl. Next, prepare some shallots. Cut it into scallions. Whether it is noodles or fence, scallions are inseparable. After cutting, put it together with the garlic and set aside. Prepare a spoonful of chili powder below. A spoonful of white sesame seeds to enhance Next, flavor. Next, add some cooking oil to the pot. The oil is hot and then splashed on this inspire fragrance. After setting the incense, add a spoonful of light soy sauce to add it. Add a spoonful of balsamic vinegar. Appropriate amount of salt. A little chicken essence. Next, prepare a handful of peanuts. Pour in water first. Clean the dust off the surface of the peanuts. After washing, control the water for later use. Then add a little cooking oil to the pot. Pour down the washed peanuts and fry until fragrant. Fry slowly on low heat. Keep frying peanuts until you can hear the crackling sound. That's it. Don't make too much fire when frying peanuts. Otherwise, it will be burnt outside. It's not wrapped inside. Finally, fry it until the epidermis is a little red. Let's pour it out first and put it in a bowl for later use. This time, all sweet potato warm chili has also been soaked. There is no hard heart in it. Next, we pour into the pot. Add more water. Bring the water to a boil. After the water boils, put in the soaked warm chili just now. Keep firing and cook the warm chili. When it's almost cooked, we scooped two spoonfuls of noodle soup in it. Pour into the pre-prepared sauce. If you have stock at home, it's better to use stock. Cook the warm chili inside to make it transparent like this. That's it. Then we used a colander to fish out all the fence. After controlling the water, put it directly into the large bowl. Then add the peanuts and cilantro. I like spicy food with a little chili oil. Such a hot and sour appetizer. Smooth and strong hot and sour powder is ready. Isn't that simple? If you feel good too, just collect it and try it. Well, today's video is shared here. If you like my video, remember to like and follow the message and forward it. See you in the next video. Thank you for your support.